thank you for joining us again for A Road to Recovery, presented by Addiction Recovery Care. Today we're going to talk about the different phases in treatment. And with me I have Matt Brown, and he's going to share with you what the word phases means at Addiction Recovery Care. So thanks, Vanessa. So we have multiple treatment options at Addiction Recovery Care. We have residential treatment where people come and they stay with us for a period of time. We have outpatient treatment where people actually get counseling from us at one of our centers, but they live at their own home, and we also have telehealth options. And what we're going to talk about today is our residential program where people come and they stay with us. So our residential program has four distinct phases of treatment and people are able and have an opportunity to stay with us for up to one year but the good news is is you don't have to stay the whole year but sometimes people choose to so phase one lasts about 30 days and this is all different based on each individual's medical needs and their physical needs for their addiction but the first phase is is about 30 days and really during that time we're working on getting you stabilized after living a life of addiction. So we're, we're, we're working on your withdrawal management, we're getting you stable, we're getting your head clear, and we are preparing you for what's next, either after treatment or in phase two. In phase two, what we do <clears throat> is we begin to increase the amount of recovery skills that we're teaching someone. We're teaching you about addiction being a disease, about relapse prevention programs, about triggers, cravings, etc. And that lasts for about 60 days. And then you move into phase three, and we call that phase taking action. Yeah. And that lasts all the way up to the six month mark. And Vanessa, I'm gonna pivot over to you. How important is that phase three taking action part of our residential program? Oh, it's completely important. Because if you don't learn how to take action with your recovery while you're inside of a safe environment, it's really hard to do that in the outside world when you have all of these different things coming against you. You. So while you're there and you have time to focus on yourself, learning to be proactive in your recovery is essential to being able to live a life of recovery once you leave. That's right. And so phase three, you're basically learning to use what you learned in phase one and phase two. And then lastly, the last six months of that year is phase four, and that is our education, vocational training, life skills, on-the-job training program where we're finishing up helping you move from crisis to career, from pain to purpose, from addiction to abundance, like you say often, Vanessa, that last phase is really geared towards life after treatment. And once again, everybody gets into addiction a different way, so everyone's needs are very different to get out of addiction. We have four phases. You don't have to do them all to be successful. I know folks who've done one phase, two yeah. phases, three phases, or four phases who've left and are living a life of sobriety, a life of recovery, a life of purpose. So that's our four phases, and I cannot encourage you enough to seek treatment, to call our number, to check our website out if you or a family member need help. Matt, thank you so much for that information. If you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out. And back to you in the studio.